Erica, they were concerned enough to shift 319 students to remote learning and move a ceremony for eighth graders indoors. The school says they made that call after a nearby shooting. A private security company sits outside Neighborhood House Charter School. The threat of violence shut down the Dorchester School, forcing students in the 8th to 11th grades to attend class remotely. In a statement, the school's director explains the decision came after a nearby shooting. Quote, last Friday, several shots were fired at the Shawmet T station. Police believe one of our students, who is not currently attending school in person, may have been the intended target. We also became aware that individuals associated with the alleged assailants from last week's incident were communicating with members of our community that they intended to return. The letter goes on to say the alleged assailants are not students at the school. School, but officials were concerned enough to close school Tuesday and Wednesday and ask the state to allow a shift to remote learning, which the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education granted. Anytime there's an incident of violence in the city, we are very, very concerned and want to make sure we are working to get the right people in custody. At an event in Chinatown, Mayor Michelle Wu said the city will support students however it can. We live in a world right now where there is um, way more access to weapons and, and um, firearms than should ever be possible. Students in the 12th grade have already wrapped up classes for the year. The school is set to reopen on June 17th right now for the last week of the school year. We're live in Dorchester. Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center 5.